What's the crack, lads and ladies around the world? My name is DB Geek and welcome to a very special video. Before we get into this, you've seen the title. This is indeed exclusive, never seen before commentary from the man behind the Halo music, Mr. Marty O'Donnell. But before we get into that epicness, I do want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of the Halo journey. I started my journey late last year and into the beginning of 2020 and I did not know that the journey was going to bring me here playing Halo with the legend himself. So before you do anything else I left the link down below to Marty O'Donnell's YouTube channel. A lot of you don't even know he has one so make sure you go over there and subscribe to him and let's bring up his numbers some more because he's got some very interesting things planned. Uh, one including Halo Combat Evolved with the devs themselves. The OG Bungie developers are going to get together to play Halo Combat Evolved. And as far as I know, Marty's planning on doing something on his YouTube channel for that. So make sure you do subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'll link it down in the description and I'll also make it to pinned comment. But before I start this video, I do want to thank you all for being a part of this amazing journey. I started off as a PlayStation guy and dived into the world of Xbox. And of course, in doing so, I came across Halo. One that my friends outside of YouTube and the community wanted me to check out, and I did. And I never looked back, and I kept going up until Halo 5, and even into the Halo Infinite trailers that we got as well. I just want to say it's been an incredible journey and I thank you so much for getting me here. And I never thought in a million years that I'd actually get a chance to play the Halo itself with Marty O'Donnell. The man that is responsible for making the music so iconic. Which indeed in turn makes the scenes of the games so much more dramatic and special. So I want to thank you Marty for being a part of this. And thank you for reaching out to me and just being here amongst the community and being a, a valuable and valued member of the Halo community. Honestly, it means the world that I I managed to get this far in the journey and to be a part of this experience. I am truly humbled and grateful for that. So thanks everybody for taking me here and bringing me here because you guys are responsible for this PlayStation guy to be in this position. So I thank you and I honestly am very, very grateful for everything you've done for me. So lads, here it is. Never seen before commentary from Marty O'Donnell himself, including my stupid face and commentary in one awesome video. Enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world. You already know who I am. My name is DV Geek, and today I have this very special opportunity. The opportunity of a lifetime, one which so many of you out there are quite envious of. I have the opportunity, not just to talk and chat with the legendary Marty O'Donnell, but also play a game that he had a huge role in making. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world, please welcome Marty O'Donnell. Hello everybody. This is going to be fun. I, this is the first time I've done something like this. I'm actually, does this count as a, being a content creator now? Am I part of the content creators? The quote unquote content creator, Marty. You're, you, you're one of the original content creators. <laughs> and just to set the record straight, the only reason I'm doing this with you is because you've been a Halo fan for 20 years, even before. I think in 1999, <laughs> I remember you watching the, the trailer and that was you, right? Was oh yeah, that was totally me. Been a fan since the early days, Marty, of course. <laughs> I see that's the one thing that I get a lot of people saying to me as well. It's just like, you've only been a fan for about eight months, less than a year, and you get these opportunities. But, you know, it's, you know, it is what it is. I'm just very fortunate and I'm very humble, you know? Hey, look, the thing for me is, is that you're, you're like, like, you're like a virgin. I'm so right. uh, that actually makes it kind of fun. Uh, for the old guys like me, so I still love all the fans who actually have been there since before 1999. But somehow, you know, you you're the one who suggested it, and I'm open to suggestions. So, lads, we are going to be playing Halo Combat Evolved on the Master Chief Collection. So, like I said to Marty before we got go live, I said, don't hold back, give your opinions, be as honest as you want, and uh, it should make things interesting. I have so few opinions. I'm very restrained in my opinions, so we'll we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. 
Now, we're hopping into a game, Marty. You getting the same screen? Looks like it. I see the yellow pipe things that are ridiculous. They look like <laughs> shock absorbers. Like, why is there a shock absorber in the hallway here? <laughs> now I do remember, since we did this the other day. Yeah. Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? There it is. <laughs> I think we both know the answer to that. There's so Marty's Keen's. Cortana's and Cortana impression, ladies and gents. Now, yes. Marty, where are you at? I'm oh. Right behind you. All right down the pipes. All right, lead away, Marty. I can't believe they used your voice, but they didn't use your face. That's because they did the face stuff uh, way back in like 99, 90. Yeah, I think like late 99. They'd already modeled the Marines. And they used mostly the artists and uh, some of the engineers. Captain Keys. So this is Rob McLeese right there. Oh. Rob McLeese. If you ever get a chance to talk to Joe State and ask him about that sh handshake, that was really a nightmare for him. Why was that a nightmare? Because we had no good, there was no collision between models like yeah, that. Yeah, that's so actually true. Fake, yeah. yeah. See, I gotta say, the, the booty is still, still works. There you have it, lads. <laughs> you heard it here first. Marty is okay with Cortana booty. Steve Downs, when I gave, when I would come in and give Steve Downs his script, he would read through it and he'd say, I have like six lines in this thing. I'm like, yeah, but they're all really important. Thank you. But they are. <laughs> they are. I said, you're like Clint Eastwood. You're Clint Eastwood. You're a man of few words, but everything you say is like, everyone's going to know everything you say. Yeah. Now, you know what happens if we kill Captain Keys. Oh, I know. I know it's, too it's well. A time, it's a time waster. <laughs> but that is a... Uh, <laughs> That leads to an Easter egg that's Jamie Griezmann's Easter egg, the Meg. All right, we got Magnums. We're packing heat. Marty with the first kill. Of course. Wow. What of course. Way. Are you shooting with a plasma pistol? I'm shooting with oh, a plasma. I, I can't remember the name. Oh, we, there's nothing we can do about those guys. No. They were going to go down. They were know, scripted to die, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, there That's he is. David Scully also. <laughs> so David Scully did both Sergeant Johnson and the elites. Oh, wow. All the elites. A very talented man, indeed. Yeah. I got you covered. And then I redid this piece in Halo 3. And also, sort of, in Halo 2, a version of this kind of piece became uh, Peril. I suppose it's important to kind of keep the familiarity of the music as well, isn't it? It keeps it iconic. Oh, yeah. You know? And it, I'm, I'm lazy. I don't want to keep writing new stuff. <laughs> I mean, at least you're honest, Marty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is what I love. There's a sign for stairs. Now, can you imagine in the year, whatever the heck it is, somebody tell me what year this is. It Whoa. looks like stairs in an office building in the middle of a, you know... Yeah, I always thought the stairs traveling were right so feet. random and strange. <laughs> so you know what that's for? So you know? It's to teach you to look up. Because ah. most people were never... In most shooters, you never look up. That's you are actually always very up. true. That makes a lot so, of sense. But when you think about it, tell me another place in Halo where there's stairs. I mean, it's just... Stairs is weird. This part is also a nightmare on Legendary, Marty. Oh yeah, I know. Like, you it really back. is. Was it always the intention to make the Magnum so powerful? No. You got your flashlight on again. Oh, you know, so what, sorry. That? <laughs> no, that, the, it, the Magnum got powerful uh, right at the end. It had to do with Jamie Griezmer trying to balance something, and then Jason Jones came in after everything was locked out. Right. And uh, he changed the number, and he changed it the wrong way, so it became overpowered. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> there you have it. There it is, lads. Yeah. That's why the Magnum is as overpowered as it is. And notice, he can't see, even though we can see through. See how I'm coming up to here? Right. Why doesn't he see me? I have no idea. Because it might be clear to us, but it's not clear to the AI. Ah. Now you went around it. So it's just an oh, obstacle in the way for him. Yeah. This is important. We look over here at the window, yeah. and we see the life pods they're going out. We should hurry. Life pods are launching. Yeah. And then another one launches, and then BAM! Whoa! Life pods. See, you didn't know that. No, I didn't. They destroyed our life pods. Just People just got killed. It's horrible. That is horrible. <laughs> I remember 
when people were first playing this game, sometimes it would take them a long time to get to that point, and they had no idea. Like Cortana suddenly came out of their head, and she hadn't spoken since you were on the bridge, so it was kind of a shock. Right. By the way, did everybody see this? Oh, this, Marty's this playing with a duke. No, I'm not. I, I can't play with a duke. All oh, right. <laughs> right there. See that little button there? There's no shoulder uh, buttons. Yeah. But right That's there, the flashlight. Nice clear button. Yeah. Flashlight. Yeah. I love that button. Uh, it's all it did was flashlight. Uh, but yeah, uh, we never recorded Elite on purpose. Everybody knows this, but that's. Wart, wart, wart is Sergeant Johnson saying, go, go, go. If we were playing heroic or legendary, we'd be dead. So oh, yeah. Oh, heroic. God, yeah. <laughs> okay, and now here's the hand, the grenade tutorial. Oh, but it doesn't say anything. All right, well, they must just assume you know everything. Yeah. Okay, Did I, we went the wrong way. Yeah. Where were we supposed to go? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no. Roll cutscene. Here we go. What are your thoughts on the new Master Chief suit and design in Infinite, Marty? Uh, I haven't paid attention. Fair enough. <laughs> What are what is everybody else's thoughts? Are they look? Um, is it everybody's a new pretty pleased. The and there's kind of it's a little bit of a throwback to the original design. Oh, good. Yeah, oh, that's, nice. that's why I mean, a lot of people are very excited to see it, you know, in full blown gameplay mode. What is that thing, Lieutenant? So the guy who just said that line was also. When, oh, the auto. She's been hit. That was actually a fan named Brian uh, Morden. Oh really? That was a fan. That's that's awesome. Yeah, he, he got a line in the game. Uh, everybody should look him up online. He he's a really really cool kid who ended up having cancer and passed away years ago. Oh, that's he so was sad. our first uh, Make a Wish guy. So he came and visited the studio, and we we got him into the game. Oh okay. Oh, that's that was really nice of you. Flawless Cowboy is Jamie Griezmann's invention. Okay. I'm losing her. You know Great. who that is? Brace That's Jen impact. Taylor. Oh, That's Jen okay. Taylor. She's doing that line because we need we wanted a female uh, Chief, pilot. Can you hear me? So it's funny. Her voice. Yeah. She follows up her right? southern voice can with her move? Cortana voice. Yeah, no that's, one yeah, no, that's very well done. Marty, Look we are on the Halo. Hey, you. When the Banshees come, you take one Banshee with your pistol. I'll take the other. We'll Alert. get them both. Okay, sounds inbound. good. Looking it's always hard to get both Banshees because one flies away if you only if you uh, aren't fast enough. Yeah. Oh, oh, Marty! Ah, oh, first death. <laughs> what happened? I may have had a little fall, Marty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, here he is. Second one. Oh yeah, he's coming down. He's coming. We gotta get him. He's gonna leave. Ah, shit. Oh. And he's gone. I think you failed in your mission. I told you to get the other one. But. <laughs> yeah. I failed, lads. I failed. <laughs> People probably wonder why the Halo level looks like this. I remember it was a bunch of boys from Chicago. Boys from Chicago? We moved, yeah, we moved to Seattle, and all of a sudden, we started seeing all this beautiful pine trees and ah, Sammamish. Okay, yeah. Uh, or Snohomish. Snohomish Falls, the waterfalls in Snohomish. Yeah. And Marcus uh, Marcus Leto, the art director. See, that is that is straight rip of Snohomish. S Snohomish? It's what funny where you get the inspiration oh, from, isn't it? And how it yeah. impacts the, the overall so environment of the game. Fantastic. I had other people who played, and they thought Master Chief was a woman, because every time he responds to dialogue, it's always Cortana's voice. Oh, really? Yeah. We gotta make oh. sure that we don't lose any Marines. Or if we lose some, it's just a few. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going up. I got him. Oh, here's our Marines. They're up here. Okay, good, good, good. Got him. We just gotta, we just gotta, there's Sergeant Johnson. See, I don't, hey, Sergeant Johnson. Yeah, we're all reading you. Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Johnson's like, there's two of you? And whose uh, cruel idea was to create the rocket flood? The idea. <laughs> Which was a horrible idea, by the way. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'm going to say it was Tyson Green, but I might be wrong. It's possible it was Jamie Griezmann. But whoever it was, they, I was very upset when I first saw it. All right. All right. I'm going to let you drive, Marty, because if you've watched my videos, you know exactly how I drive. Well, there's Johnson. Come on, Johnson. Johnson, you want to hop on? <laughs> hop in? No, no, no. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> Did I kill him? Yeah. I killed him because he wouldn't yeah. get into my car. You hey. killed Johnson. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Marty! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Marty, you killed me! <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could die. I knew I wouldn't die. 
Sorry this about cave that. is not a natural <laughs> formation. Oh wait! Someone built it. So it must lead somewhere. <laughs> hey, Cortana, like state the obvious much? This cave is not a natural formation. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I wonder what, what gave you that uh that, that idea. Look, I can't shoot. I'm just driving. You yeah. gotta do the work. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. If I remember correctly, yeah. Oh I love it. see we every time you crash into something. Are you gonna show uh, me something here, Marty? Where are we going? We're just gonna <laughs> All right, get get out. I think we can get out for a second. Okay. There's, a, there's what's really cool about the sound on this this uh, unbreakable glass thing. Yeah. If you stand on it and and melee it, you got to sort of melee it with by crouching. You'll hear this cool sound. Okay. Check it out. Marty. <laughs> <laughs> that was just cruel, Marty. <laughs> you can't be doing that to me on stream, Marty. <laughs> Oh, wow. I was just Sucker. trolled by Marty O'Donnell, lads. Absolutely, Absolutely right. trolled. <laughs> um, this turns into flood music later. Mass Moon wants to know, are you still in contact with David Scully? Oh, yeah. Actually, I, it's been a little bit of... A, I saw him about a year ago. It's the last time I saw him. Okay. And I think... Here we go. Activate the light bridge. There we go. Cutscene. Yeah, but I heard... The sound dropped out just before the cutscene started. This is all supposed to be absolutely seamless. These are the cutscenes I love because they're part of the action, something you do, and you're still in the scene. See, I'm still standing way back there by the blinking lights. David, I think David has decided he doesn't really, he's not super interested in doing video game voices anymore. Oh, really? That's such a yeah. shame. His voice is just it majestic. Is. All right, here comes the big reveal music. Ta da! See, look at that. Oh, it's so we cool. We see the planet, we see the thing. Oh man, so it's excited. awesome. It's beautiful, Marty, it's beautiful. Hey, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, 20 man, years. it's still beautiful. I think I used this Woo! music on Halo 3 for when the Forward Under Dawn comes in. Whoa! Oh god! Oh god! We're going down! Oh, nice save, Marty! <laughs> Whoa, that was too close. That was not good. Goddamn. That was not good. <laughs> god, you, you, the environments really are something else to admire. I mean, there was no other games that were doing it this well back then. Well, the key was that you could go from interior to exterior. Oh my god, I killed my own guy! Oh no, Marty! <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I, I didn't mean to do that. First Johnson, now this. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy. He complained about me. Oops, I missed him. <laughs> Marty, what are you doing? <laughs> Now, we would have had at least two more survivors, except I killed two of them. <laughs> yes, you did. And 900 people have witnessed that today. <laughs> and of course, we used to kill these guys in order to get their weapons, uh, which I didn't do. All right, let's see who comes. One. One. Oh my gosh. Is that it? A civilian? Oh no. Is that it? We didn't get any more. Oh Marine? my god. <laughs> what uh, happened? <laughs> oh, that's. All right, that's it. I'm not doing that again. That, that was bad. Oh, we're about to lose a warthog, Marty. No, no, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, no. Oh. Control it, Marty. No. Jump. No. Jump. No, the warthog, Marty. No. Oh, Can Lord. I think I think we might be able to salvage it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. Marty. <laughs> I think you may, have, uh, you may have accidentally shot me there, Marty. Did I really? <laughs> yeah. Don't get it. It's okay. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> All right, wait. No. No. What? No. Marty, no. Sorry. <laughs> I had to do that. Oh my God. I can. I think I can safely say I'm the first person on the planet to get teabagged by Marty O'Donnell. <laughs> no. Just, we, we know we were doing that to each other before, long before we ever shipped this game. <laughs> oh yeah, this piece. I like this piece. This is one of Mike's pieces. Okay. On the mics, okay. I did a little work on this, but it came from Mike's head to begin with. Oh, look at all the Marines we got! I like yeah, this. Yeah, we got a lot of them now. You gonna try this way? No, no. Oh no, yeah. this is a, no, this ain't gonna work. Oh, we're flipped. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Wow, we're being shot at. It's okay. I still got control of the gun, Marty. <laughs> I need to get all out. Right. Is there? Oh wow! I literally just died because I hopped out with a warthog. Wait, I left a lot more than two. No, there. there was there was really way come. more than that. Did you think Halo yeah. was going to be as big as it was, or big as it is, I should say? 
No, no, not not that big. That was ridiculous. That we, we thought it was going to be good because we we played a lot of games. We knew it was going to be popular. But yeah. Not that popular. Yeah, not not to have the following that it has today anyway. All right, so hey, let me sneak up. I'm going to start the next piece of music. Okay, go for it. This one should fade out. Yeah, there it goes. And now I'm going to start under cover of darkness, simply by shooting. See how Wait, cool uh, is that? That is very cool. Puts you in the moment. Oh, we got an evil. Oh, I did die. Did yeah. you die? Don't, don't die. Marty. Back up. I died, yeah. I was, Mar I was distracted by the music. Hey, you back, Marty. <laughs> I swear I left your dead body alone. I swear. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I think I saw you doing bad things. But you, I, you owed me that. I get I, it. I wouldn't do such a thing, Marty. I swear. <laughs> so yeah, I am distracted by the music. See, I'm saying nothing. The lyrics, <laughs> the lyrics of that song are meaningless. I got him. I got him. Oh, okay. So did you, how many times did you play this game? Uh, probably this is my third time to play through this level now. Ah, excellent. Yeah. The music will tell us when the hunters are here. I remember oh, that. Oh yeah, it does. There Ooh, it is. There it is. Okay, let's do this. All right, they're gonna be able to shoot me with it. yeah, with that thing. Yeah, that was. That's why you don't <laughs> say it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, don't don't die. Don't die. Don't we, die. We, don't, we die. Gotta, don't die. Don't die. We yeah. we got this. We Doing can that. lead them off the cliff, Marty, if you'd like. That's, oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, that's another way of killing them off. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, he is on my ass okay. right now, Marty. You get two of them. They're on either side of you. Whoa, jeez. Oh, oh, this ain't good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got one. Got one. Okay. Okay. Run them further away so I can respond. Okay. Just run away. Just, okay. There's no shame in running away at this point. <laughs> it's okay. Wouldn't be the first time I ran away, Marty. Marty versus the hunter. Here we go. The legendary oh, matchup we never we wanted. There's a little leg. <laughs> oh yeah! Marty wins! Yeah, but this one on legendary, this was bad. Not nice. I think maybe nobody's home. I think maybe nobody's home. Hey. Hey. Rocky Bell boys in the Oh. oh, these guys, oh my god, I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. The other thing I like about these Marines is they would bump into you, they would shoot you accidentally, and then... Oh, that's right. I got camouflage. Oh. Oh, the hunters. I completely forgot about them. You are down there. The Marines oh. are waiting on the Whoa, whoa. Not... Watch out. Oh! <laughs> I believe I said watch out. You, you did. Watch out. Watch out. Whoa. Watch out. It's okay. I survived that one. I'm going to say grenade from now on. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Well, you sh shot up in the air, though. It was pretty fun. Yeah, I like that. The physics in this are so fun. We call them Chucky physics. <laughs> Chucky physics. I love it. It's Chucky was the programmer that did the physics. I like him better than Havoc, by the way. Havoc is a third-party physics right, engine that we used cool. yeah. on Halo 2 and 3 and Reach and ODST. So yeah. only Chucky physics on Halo 1. Grenade, grenade. Grenade, grenade. There we go. Another one's still there. Watch out, oh! watch out, watch out. <laughs> that wasn't me. I think that was... Who was that? Was that, that a Marine? Was, I'm pretty sure it was a Marine. No, that was, no, that was a Grunt. Who, oh, was a right. Grunt died with a live grenade. Oh, uh, it's much. okay. It's okay. Oh, yeah. yeah grenade, 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 grenade. <laughs> Notice what that is? Cortana opening a door. Yeah. And we have to wait for her to open the door. Yeah. That is the entire level design for uh, Destiny. I have um, yet to play Destiny, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> You're always waiting for your AI to open a door. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Come on, Marty, you got this. You got this. Shoot him in the back. I'm trying there, to. There, I stuck him in the back. There we go. Whoa, he flew. <laughs> oh, gosh. I wasn't looking at my... Uh... Oh, Marty, don't fall down the level. <laughs> Did you fall, Marty? Oh, no. Well, I'm, okay. I'm on my own. Okay, I'm just up there. You're on your own. But I'll be a, I'll be back. Yeah, it was funny. when At first, a grenade would go off, and it wouldn't trigger any other grenades that were on the ground. And then we decided, wouldn't it be cool if you threw a grenade and it triggered the other grenades that are laying there? Just to cause one massive explosion. Yeah, and then that caused people endless fun. Yep. Okay, oh. here we go. Oh, that's right. They're sleeping. Watch out, Marty! He's got a thingy! 
Oh. oh no! I fell victim. You did. I'm gonna try to stay in a safe spot so you'll come. Oh god, there is no safe spot. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Oh, oh wow! God. Whoa. You, like, you stepped, I was shooting. And you're... Oh yeah, my. Okay, I'm back. You stepped in front of me. Uh, I just that's twice I've done that now. <laughs> okay. They call it Halo. That's right. That's where that line comes from. Who came up with the name? Halo. Yeah. Paul Russell. Oh. Paul Russell, one of our artists. It was on a whiteboard of possible names. It was one of like 20 names on a board someplace. Wow. And uh, the name started getting um, crossed off. And then finally, the last one was Halo was still there. I mean, nobody liked it at first. Why did it sound like too basic or something? Well, I didn't like it because it was the name of a shampoo that I grew up with. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Halo is named after a shampoo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Marines, lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. Okay. Yes, sir. I was one of those Marines there. Yes, sir. <laughs> all the well, group, all the group lines, we never got our actress to do. We had to like just do that with our... World. You just well, done it together. Hey. Yeah. We were told by the Alice. Microsoft uh, testing PR people that we had to change the name because Halo was bad. Halo did not test well. Right. Which is why we ended up calling it Halo Combat Evolved. We, we refused to change the name. That's oh, okay. Like, Microsoft like, will we'll accept it if you add Combat control. Evolved. So we did, which is actually, that's fine. Entire... Now, Marty, Shut it's up, up to you. Do you want to keep going until we finish the level, or do you want to end it here? It's up to you. <sighs> you know, let's end it here. Let's end it here. Uh, okay. Well, I'll take a few final questions here. And yeah, then, for then sure, for sure. All right, lads and ladies, there you have it. For the first time, Marty O'Donnell playing Halo Combat Evolved. The MCC, of course, not, not the way it was originally intended to be played. Um, so what do you think? Does anybody, does anybody got any questions? Oh, my friend Ian's in the chat, by the way, Marty. He says, thank you for the DVD. Oh, good. That's excellent. Yeah, that was fun to, get to uh, see him take that. He was, was very, good. very pleased to say the least. Now that is a somewhat rare, especially with my signature, of course. I think it might be the only one out there that I signed. Is it? That's the, that's the, I kind of, I kind of had a feeling it was. I kind of went yeah. with that. It was the only one. Yeah, we made those just for uh, people at Bungie. And that's why we put that um, disclaimer on there that he, we would we would come and find you if you ever gave it away. We didn't want anybody at Bungie to give those out because we one of the problems was the uh, was up commercial could be we could have gotten sued for that. But that's so, it's 20 years ago. So who cares? Yeah, I think we ended up we ended up having a bunch left over and they might have been we might have had a few that we gave as bonuses to fans. Yeah. Somebody's asking, what's your favorite song from Halo? Yeah, that's uh, I I don't know. Well, you know, I probably have to just say the first one because it was the first one that was written. It was written in 1999 for the Macworld demo. Hmm. And it had to come together really fast. And uh, so much ended up being based on that. So that had the... Uh, 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 yeah. So and then da 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 da. So and that had all the elements of of a gazillion songs that we ended up doing. The man cheese wants to know what was your inspiration for Halo Reach's music. A couple of things happened with Halo Reach. Um, we knew that we were going to be on a planet with a population, and the population that was there, the the human population, was somewhat supposedly from uh, Eastern Europe kind of lineage. We wanted a different um, mode for that. I wanted to sound just a little more ethnic rather than ancient. So uh, I used the Phrygian mode, which is something that you would hear in Middle East, um, Arabic, Eastern European kind yeah, of yeah. scales. So that's where I, so I had a scale that would just sound a little more uh, ethnic like that. And then, of course, we still I still had a mix in this the feel of and sound of halo music so yeah just, you just start going just you, yeah you just kind of yeah that's it Jamie. you start somewhere and you just keep going then can you ask marty who came up with the ship names pillar of autumn or forward unto dawn most of those kind of 
esoteric names usually came out of Jason Jones' head, but then there were a few people like Jamie who knew the way J Jason thought. Like he knew the kinds of stuff Jason liked to write. So some of the times those things came from Jason. And sometimes I think they might've come from Jamie. Some of it might've come from Joe too. I, I actually don't know for a fact. Flash Type 1 says, is there a reason why Cortana acts sort of British in Halo 1? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, Joe wrote her to be have a British accent. And that's why she says sod off. And she says a couple other things that are pretty British colloquial uh, sayings. Uh, but when we brought Jen in, we and she, Jen did great. She uh, Jen Taylor did a great British accent. As a matter of fact, she had just finished being the voice of Kate Archer in uh, Kate Archer. Is that the name of it? Somebody out there, somebody who's online knows who I, what I'm talking about. There was a another game that had like a the lead character was a woman spy who was British, and that was Jen Taylor's voice. Okay. And I just felt like, well, do we have to go British? Because if we do, she's going to sound like Kate Archer and Kate Archer is a game that's out right now. Let's just have her do her normal voice. And Joe liked it and I liked it. So she sounded fun as an American voice, but we didn't change some of the, some of the things she said. So. Hey Marty, at what point did you realize that Halo was going to be as big as it became? Well, like I said, we knew uh well, that we were working on something cool you know we were all first person shooter fans we all played half-life you know bungie had already done marathon and had a, a you know solid following of people who loved marathon which is a first person shooter and was also on the pc it wasn't just on the mac by that point marathon 2 and marathon infinity hmm. yeah marathon infinity how interesting so uh, so we knew we had something good. It was We knew the physics were good. We knew the being able to go from inside to outside of the story. We knew there was a, the big, big battles, lots of combat, lots of characters. We knew it was going to be good. Uh, after we showed it to uh, the world at Macworld, we knew that, that there was, we were going to have a lot of fans. Uh, and then the, the last ingredient was being a launch title for the Xbox. So if the Xbox could be successful, then we knew Halo would probably be successful. So I thought, yeah, we're going to, we might sell, you know, 800,000 to a million units. I was predicting like, yeah, we might sell a million units. Which <laughs> So, you know, when I see whatever the numbers are now for Halo, it's like, no, none of us had that idea, but we still thought it was going to be successful. But back yeah, then, if you yeah. built it, you were wildly successful. Oh, yeah. I mean, wait, today, to, the, to this Even day. Even today, yeah, a million is a huge number. Hey, everybody, come on now. Come on. Marty has a YouTube channel. It's in the description. Go check him out. Uh, did you only voice the one character in Halo Combat Evolved? Or is there any other Marines or characters that you voiced somewhere? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm the voice of the Flood. We never did get to the flood. No, we didn't. <laughs> I'm the flood. I'm the hunters, actually, and I'm the jackals. So oh, I'm the there you go. Yeah. Uh, and the flood, you guys will recognize this because I, the the key to doing horrifically monster sounding voices is to breathe in. So when I'm doing the flood, I was going just going. That is so good, Marty. <laughs> Anybody can do it. Just breathe in. Just make noises. Just oh, breathe in. And go. That's fantastic. So all the little guys and then all the flood. Yeah, that was a blast. What did? How did you feel about Cortana's death, Marty? Spoiler? What? <laughs> well, wait, you didn't know that? No. <laughs> oh, wow. We just... Well, I, I had heard that she, they, they had killed her. I mean, but like... <laughs> it, was it in Halo 5 she died or Halo 4? When did when did she die? Halo 4. Well, how did you feel about it? Was it handled well? Was it To good? be quite what honest, the send-off was done really well. Really okay. well. But then they messed good. it up in 5. But we're not going to go oh. there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know what? I started playing for, and I just didn't play it for very long. There was a couple of things about it that I felt like, oh, this is just going to frustrate me. And I'll tell you, and there, there are things that maybe didn't frustrate anybody else, but we had some sort of unwritten rules, like um, if you hit a checkpoint and there's mission dialogue, mm -hmm. like mission dialogue, like, you know, this cave is not a natural formation, blah, blah, blah. And then you die. You don't go back to the checkpoint and hear that mission dialogue again. Yeah. Even though we screwed that up on a, in a few spots. But we would have, like, we would always make sure that things like mission dialogue should only be heard once. 
so you don't get annoyed by it, especially if you die a bunch. And also, we didn't, I never liked having Master Chief be talky. I felt like I wanted to feel like I was Master Chief. I only wanted Master Chief to say things that I thought I needed to say. Yeah. So if he said, Captain Keys, I'm like, yeah, okay, I could see saying that. And if he says, I need a weapon, I'm like, yeah, I need a weapon. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. So we've talked, I've talked about this before. And um, right away in Halo 4, all of a sudden, Cortana and Master Chief were having this long, drawn out conversation about all sorts of personal things. I don't even know what they were talking about. But I was trying to drive, and these two are talking. And I'm like, well, who's driving? If Master Chief's driving, how is he able to talk this much with Cortana while he's driving and crashing? And they, they, they just didn't seem to be aware of me. I didn't feel as connected to Master Chief. Okay. And that was too frustrating for me. So yeah, no, that's fair. Um, I, I thought, okay, well, they, they've got their own way of making the game, and good luck with that. Okay. Would Marty ever do a live stream on his YouTube channel with other developers? Okay. Well, I'm going to put this out now because a couple, a few weeks ago, Highwire, as you know, Highwire is my game studio now yep. that I had with, with Jamie Griesmer and Jared Noftel, and we hired Paul Breton. Now, Jamie and Paul were two of the my favorite designers ever on the Halo series. Yeah. You know, Paul was lead designer on ODST. They were both level designers and lead designers for Halo 1, 2, and 3. The fact that the three of us are together again is really, really fun and cool. Yeah, and that's awesome. Right. Stay tuned. Stay. Keep your eye on Highwire. Keep your eyes peeled for Highwire, lads. Something's coming. Something's, Something's coming. coming. But uh, we were having our little virtual happy hour and mm. Paul suddenly just started playing Halo 3 he was playing one of his levels of, from Halo 3 yeah and so all of us are sort of watching him play and I was, it was so much fun to see him play because he's the guy who invented the jackal snipers and you know it was ridiculous <laughs> where they all oh were. the jackal snipers <laughs> like Paul oh, that's just not fair you put them there so you know where to look so anyway so we were laughing about watching him play and I said hey you know what we got to do it, especially I could get more people watching my channel or streamers like I love streamers as you know yeah so I said we should stream we should have a thing that says high wire plays halo that'd be great I think the whole freaking halo community want to yeah. see that man see and and Jamie and 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 Paul right now we'll see they I might be able to convince them especially some some fan pressure if you want to see Jamie and Paul play halo play their levels there you go, community. You got to make it happen. You know, all of this stuff is made possible because of the passionate Halo community. So let, let's get that happen. Let's get that trending out there, lads. Uh, it would be so good to see you all get sniped by our jackal. I would just love that. I'm sure that'd be quite amusing to see. What is Marty the most proud of regarding his experience in Bungie? Well, there's, I mean, I was, I was, I worked with Bungie since 1996. So I did Myth and the Myth series. I did Oni. I did all the Halos and I did the first Destiny. I think in terms of a body of work, I'd have to say all the Halo music from the first five Halo games. Um, super proud of that. But as a singular kind of work, the music of the spheres, uh, which was the suite that was the prequel music for Destiny. Yeah. I got to do that with a 120-piece orchestra and choir. Uh, Paul wow. McCartney worked with me, and, uh, you know, I got to do it. You know, me and Mike worked at several studios. I got to work with Paul just over the course of a two-year period at several, several different studios around the world. Um, yeah. Being at Abbey Road a couple of times with Paul McCartney was amazing. Yeah. So uh, I, I still look at that, and I think I think as a as a singular suite of music um, to listen to from beginning to end, it, it probably stands up the best. I'm super proud of that. Oh yeah. What is the <laughs> meaning behind of all the glyphs around this city city in Halo Three, ODST? <laughs> Understandable if you can't answer. He says. <laughs> I think that. People who enjoy figuring stuff out, if you're enjoying it, why would you want me to spoil it for you? I just yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. If you're having a good time, uh, it's been this long. Why not just uh, continue to work on it? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's there for fun, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a good place to end it. I want to say a huge thank you for to Marty for being here and being a part of the stream and just being an amazing person in the community. Like honestly, the Halo community love you, Marty. They they love oh. how how involved you are. Community. The fact that you're in you know the comment section of my videos and many other creators on YouTube just shows that you care. So huge thanks to Marty, lads. Thank you for being here, man. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. This is my first Twitch stream ever. I hope it's, it's hopefully it's not my last. No, for sure. For sure. All okay. right, ladies and gents, we are going to end it. Make sure you leave a follow here on Twitch and check out Marty O'Donnell's channel on YouTube. This will be an edited video on YouTube anyway, so all of that will be in the description. So make sure you go and give him a subscribe over there. All right. All right, Marty. Let's close it all out. Right. See you, everyone. Bye.